Hey, hey friends, it's Sadie Rob here and happy holidays to everyone. Today we are gonna be reading from Isaiah, Isaiah 9 2, and it says, The people walking in the darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You see, there are two types of light in the world. There is physical light and there is spiritual light. When you are born, we perceive physical light. And because we have physical light, we can see God's handiwork in all creation. And the other hand, there is a more important light, and that is the spiritual light. That is the light that Jesus is. He is the light of the world. Whoever follows him won't walk in darkness, but they will have light. You see, that's so powerful to know because many of us sometimes feel like we are in dark places. But those who know the true light, they'll never walk in spiritual darkness because God's light overpowers the darkness always. Yes, it might feel dark. Yes, it might seem dark but there is a light in that space and that light's name is Jesus. I love how followers of Jesus can carry this light in any space because we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. So we may be in the midst of deep darkness. It might be so dark that we feel like we can't see, but let God's light, let the word be the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path. Light always wins. Darkness itself must bow to the power of light. You know what's so cool is that you can see a flame of a candle from so far away in complete darkness because in darkness we are drawn to the light. There's just no stopping the power of light whenever it's in the midst of darkness. So yes, Jesus is the light of the world, but he also calls you to be the light in the world. And so when you're in a space that seems dark, when you're around friends who are going through dark seasons, you be that light of the world because you have the power of the light within you.